Hello everyone and welcome back to Craft Exile Dissonance. We're back and since last episode I've done a few different things. I've cleaned up around the house, did a little farming. I've done a little bit of, um, well, some colony stuff. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to describe it, but here's the kitchen. It actually looks pretty nice. We got a nice little cozy home down here now and some proper storage for our food and such. Like I said, it's a little bit of farming and everything. And yes, this is a purple refrigerator. <laughs> I uh, actually dyed this blue and then I was like, you know, this kind of, it, it's all right. It doesn't, it's not too bad. So I went with the uh, blue color uh, kitchen floor. So if we go with ant cooking with blockheads, You'll notice that there's a couple of recipes you can do for the kitchen floors. I went ahead and went with the blocks of coal because I have so much coal. Same with the quartz. We got a bunch of that. Uh, alternatively, you could use the concrete and then to dye it, you just need dye in the center. With the rest of everything, it's pretty much just, you know, terracotta, stone, chests, stuff like that. And then you right click on it with the dye once you place it in the world. Once you pick it back up, it's going to lose the dye color. So just remember that. But this looks pretty good. We got a nice, like I said, we got a nice little kitchen. I think what I'm gonna do is probably try to get us a little bit of food. I think maybe some vegetable medley might be in order or even some carrot soup. Let's go with the vegetable medley. We're gonna go ahead and craft up like 16 of these. We have a pretty decent amount of tomatoes and lettuce. Actually, let's do some more vegetable medleys. It's uh, half a stack. That way we're good to go. Uh, storage, still have to work on that, but let's go take a look. I did add these as well, these little bra braziers, braziers. I'm, I still always get confused. <laughs> Should probably Google that one day, but they're pretty easy to make. Just some iron bars, iron and coal. But let's show you the important thing, the colony, which we still got to come up with a name for. I have not done yet. The miner's been... Weird. I don't know what's going on with the miner. I've given them every single pickaxe I can imagine, and they keep wanting a pickaxe. I, I don't understand it. I, dang it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to quit putting that in my, uh, my first slot. I'm sorry, Wilmot. I'm not so good enough, eh? No, I mean, it's not that. It's not you, it's me working. I don't, what? See, literally, look, I've given them iron. I've given them stone. I I, I don't quite understand. I've given them ladders. I, I don't know what's going on. I think it has something to do with this down here. I'm also guessing that maybe what they need, they can't mine? Maybe they need a shovel? Like, I'm not entirely sure if, like, maybe they just can't mine this or something. So, let me just kind of, um, get a, get a thing going here. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna heart or uh, help or harm. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. In the meantime, I am going to go ahead and douse this in here. I have some plans for today, but I did manage to get the... the lumberjack's doing a great job, by the way. Look at that. Doing a great job. Just planted some trees myself out here. Some dark oak. And they're just... Luke's going at it. He's doing a great job. We got another house built as well over here on the side. Things are starting to come together a little bit. Now, we do need to start looking into upgrading these particular buildings so we need to do like say for instance build options we need to upgrade and requires a builder's hut of level two or higher to be upgraded because we need more colonists we've basically given everyone that's here a job currently we only have four people and they're they, they all have a job so we need to start upgrading would be the next thing now this isn't what I have planned for today obviously but I'm just mentioning like I need to get this going for the most part and I'm not sure really is what is needed I'm guessing started building builder 2 
Looks like he's gonna need some birch. You would change things up on me and need birch and other things, you little jerk. A lot of this I do actually have, and I could do this. Um, I'm gonna do that later, because like I said, we got some other plans in store. Yeah, I did make some applesauce as well. This is pretty easy to make. I've been getting a lot of apples chopping these trees myself and going at it, and yeah. So, I've noticed <laughs> we've done a lot of, we've done quite a few tech things. There's a lot of wandering traders in my backyard. I gotta find and build a place. I kinda have a small idea for this. I'm not entirely sure, but I think today, we, something we have not done is, we've done, not done a lot of exploring. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna teleport out to Luke Muriaric, and I would love to get a better way of getting up and down here. Now, a vanilla elevator would work very well here. Um, but there's a lot of other methods we could do. There's a create elevator. There's sky hooks, which would be awesome <laughs> from immersive engineering. It's kind of what I was thinking about doing it. I figured to get up, it would be kind of fun. I'm not sure what would be the fastest, but there's also speedy ladders in this as well that I might just go ahead and make at some point. And it's these right here from speedy ladders mod. So basically we can just upgrade from... Uh, I guess here it's stone, and then we go to iron, iron to gold, to diamond. So, the diamond would be a little expensive to get all the way up here, but yeah, nonetheless. I don't like doing this, but we're going to get some XP doing this anyway, so we're going to go boop. And I did come out here to grab a decent amount of sand at one point, but there's a little dungeon right over here, and this is around... Actually, we might have to go a little bit more because we're actually higher level now. This is about a level 14 area. So let me go do a little look in here. Let's see what levels are B here. Yeah, level 14. So we need to go a little bit further. We want to get some experience, maybe just to kind of catch up a little bit where we left off. There are some quests that we are going to be doing that's going to help, but I kind of want to get a little bit more XP. Like, I want to get in some better gear. That is the biggest thing, is we want to get some better gear. Now, like I said, I need to do a little bit of traveling for a minute, because we're just going to keep going straight. It should scale. We should get more higher level mobs. There is this, but I'm assuming by where this is, Oh, I need to check that out, actually. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Wait, what? what is that? <laughs> I've never seen this. Is, it, is that obsidian? Is that a giant obsidian? It's just a bee. It's a giant obsidian spike just coming out of the ground. I wonder if there's something underneath this. If I had my other pickaxe, I could break this instantly and kind of figure it out. Nonetheless, it is about to get dark, so that means we're going to be seeing a ton of mobs, which is kind of what we want. What level is my little rabbit friend here? I can't see because he jumps around too much. All right, let's see what's in this pyramid first. I think this is still a little too low level for us at the moment, but there's definitely bound to be some decent loot, I would suggest, maybe inside of here. So we're just going to break in, and we're going to... Level 16. Not bad. Alright. Vanilla? Break it. <laughs> uh, anything good? Emerald? That's alright. Not, not the worst thing in the world. Um... Yeah, maybe... Maybe not as great as I anticipated. And I did empty out the backpack as well, so that way we can actually fill our backpack with plenty of goodies. So that way we can, well, hopefully make use of it. A lot of people are probably going to yell at me if I don't grab this. There you go. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use TNT for, but I have it now, so there's that. So, judging by the level... I'm going to have to travel here for just a minute. I'm going to leave things rolling. I think there's a village over here as well. I'm going to leave things kind of rolling in case anything happens. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, everyone. And I think we 
we have found another dungeon. Now, I'm curious because I don't quite remember if there's great loot, but I would like to see if we can get towards the bottom, if anything. I don't think we actually completed one, and I'm curious to see how well we can actually survive in our level. So this is around level 20, which is exactly what about we are. <laughs> Exactly, actually, we are level 20. Uh, the entrance is... Not really there. Alright, we're making our own. Let's get a little light going. Let's head down, let's see. Oh. That would be why. <laughs> oh, and look, we're even greeted by creepy, scary noises as well. It's like it knows. Oh, how far does this one go down? This looks like it goes down pretty far. Holy crap, I don't know if I want to keep going down. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> looks like we have two different ways to go. This one has cake though. I'm always down for cake. All right, what do we got? We got some torches. Uh, we got some mushrooms. I'm gonna take some mushrooms. I'm kind of looking for gear now. Some of these are gonna be giving us some very strange and weird things. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up our inventory so that we have some space. What is this? Oh, that's from Tropic Craft. Is that a... I don't know what that is, but I remember that some of these in here give kind of like random... Oh, hi. All right, we have to be careful here. And the reason I say this Oh, we should buff. Is because these guys are a little, little stronger, and we have not a crazy amount of stamina or energy. So we need to be very careful here. So we're seeing we had a fortune pickaxe, unbreaking chainmail boots. Let's see, we're level level twenty. So there we go. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Now, unfortunately, like I said, these guys are going to be coming in. They're, these are veterans? I'm trying to conserve as much as I can to use my other ability. I think our magic shield is down. Why do they got to be veteran zombies? Why can't I get lucky? If they're going to be veteran zombies, I'm going to have to murder them. Like the spawners, that is. We're going to take them out if they're going to be doing that to us. Alright, lucky. Nice. So we have not... I, I think we actually have a level up. Let me look. Also, we need to do our buffs. So talents. We have one skill we can spend. Plus one stamina. 6% physical attack damage. I'm assuming that would probably not be too bad. But a little bit more health. Coupled with the overflowing vitality. Probably wouldn't be the worst in the world. And then if we go into stat points, we have 12 points here. Holy cow. I'm kind of thinking we might want to throw some in stamina here. Let's get some of that going. And then we'll get a little bit more there. We'll toss a little bit of strength. And I'm kind of thinking I want a little bit in dexterity. Because I think I might need to use a bow soon. But there we go. Hopefully that'll help suffice a little bit. There's a spawner there and there. Always gotta watch your back. Now, I do want to go through this a little bit faster. Might have to break some of these. As much as I don't like breaking spawners, apparently, now would be not a bad time to go ahead and check. How did I miss that? Would not be a bad time to go ahead and check. I'm taking the mushrooms because I think we can cook with those. Oh gosh, I'm hearing so many things. Yeah, look at all this. Like we're getting we're getting some pretty decent drops now. Not to mention some okay XP. Plus breaking the spawners is gonna give us some XP as well. But we need to find the way down. This does not look like it's gonna be the way down. Let's kind of speed through this a little bit faster because these initial levels. Ooh, hey, unique flavor. More health. These initial levels are going to be... Sup 
supposedly a little bit easier. Iron shovel with efficiency. We'll take the chainmail ones. Let's just break this. It's because it's unfortunate we can't. Oh, we could take the quick way down. I mean, it is right there. <laughs> We're gonna take the quick way down. Hi, guy. How's it going? I think putting those points in there definitely helped. It does seem like our energy region is a lot better now. Gotta make sure we stay healed though. Oh, let's not do that. Let's not make that mistake. Oh, dang it. You know, I was really hope. Where the heck did you two come from? Yeah, put me in the corner. Oh, that's the sound of us out of energy. Alright. Little moment of respite. Grab a few things. This is also why we emptied out our bag, if you cannot tell already. We have an insane amount of things. We're getting some drops, though. This is a good thing. We're getting some armors and stuff that we can sort through. This does not look to be the way down. Not to mention you can farm this place for certain other things. Ooh, like carrots on a stick, for instance, but also these. Free books are always good books. I'm happy for them. Keep an eye out on the walls. You never know what you're going to find. And then little rooms like this are kind of awesome because, like, you can find inside of here... Certain things, like those are red maples. I'm going to take that because I don't have one of those. Uh, gold is probably good to take. But yeah, you can probably find, like, see, this is from the Gaia Dimension. Sticky something. I, I, I have no idea if this is used for something. Looks like it's used for a, a, a type of food. But in those little pots, like, keep, keep an eye out on those because you never know what you can find in there. If you're wanting something from a mod that's, you know, gated behind something eventually, I would wait and see what those maybe have. Because they might have some goodies. Okay, so we're just going to keep kind of looting. We need to find the way down, though. So there's... I want to get down to the good stuff. There's some apparently, like, really good stuff. Not to mention a lot harder mobs. So here's the way down, or up. So I'm assuming the way down could be, oh, this place is all sorts of messed up. Not to mention there's some messed up rooms and generation here. Oh, this might be kind of a hard to traverse. I'll let you two fight that out. But as we go down, we will start finding a lot better things. As you'll notice, we're starting to find ender pearls now, which is even better. Is there another chest in this room? Is that it? I'm going to get lost in here. Okay, so that's that way. Okay, buddy. That took most of my energy just trying to murder him. Ooh, hello. Free books. Free torches. I'm trying to shy away from using... That's interesting. Well, now we're here. Now we're here. Well, I found the way, apparently. Oh. There's the bad stuff. I'm hearing it. Then are the witches... See, there we go. More goodies. Not to mention there's some building blocks that we can find in some... Why has it got to be a, a veteran? Name tag, diamond horse armor, beetroot seeds. I don't think I really need those. I think I have plenty of the rest of that. Alright, so we're kind of getting down into the, like, the crypt le level, little area, whatever you want to call it. Let's light this up quickly. Get that out of the way. I think that guy is just being oblivious. Hi, oblivious zombie. 
How are you? Oh, we haven't even buffed up. Do I have time? Do I have time? No, not yet. We'll do it in a second. Alright, let's buff. Why won't you let me buff up? Oh, is that a magic thing? Oh, magic. Okay. I want to knock him out of the way because he's too much help. Go down in the hole. I want to get my buffs up. <laughs> I do have my other, my defend as well, but I don't want to use that just yet. All right, so there's our buff. All right, he's coming up behind us. Get wrecked. Oh, well, nope, I got wrecked. Cool. So that's how that works. <laughs> but yeah, killing the mobs is kind of the thing that we're going for here. Let me also... Why do I feel so slow? Why do I have slowness? Phantom membranes? I'll take that. Fire prot, piercing. I might take that. But yeah, see, we're getting so many good things. I am, I am happy about this. Very good, very good. And this is just the beginning. Let's just take care of this. Not to mention, like I said, the XP, the experience for enchanting is kind of what we're going for here, too. Lapis. Take the chest plate because you never know. Let's keep our torches stocked. More phantom membranes and blocks of lapis. Another music disc I don't think we have yet. Let's fill that bag up. I'm starting to think this bag is not going to be big enough. <laughs> I'm kind of getting that impression. Okay, so this was the way down. Maybe it's this way? I'm trying to get to these spawners beforehand. What is that over there? Little rare dude. But yeah, I want the loot. We need the mad loots. The apples. The torches are, are even more mad. They're even better. Let's get this out of the way. I think we definitely needed to put points in stamina like we did. This is... That stamina region is so much nicer. I think I'm going to go ahead and preemptively take some of that coal. Because I might have to craft more torches this keeps up. Alright, let's try to break this before he notices us. Of elemental resistance, huh? Well, that's great, because I don't really use that. <laughs> also, I do have this crossbow. I was kind of curious about trying it out. You know, and actually hitting them. Okay. Because it has elemental damage on it as well. Want to make sure we don't miss these. See, just the amount of pearls that we're getting from this is 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 just it's wonderful. I don't even have words. My words aren't even working with how great this is. <laughs> Did I grab this one? I guess not. Let's go ahead and grab a few more arrows. Grab all that stuff. Okay, so that was the way we went. This has this room has a spawner in it, by the way. Ooh, I see a guy back there. I want to see. Oh, let's take care of that. Let's not let them see us. Let's just grab this stuff and let's go. Actually, hold on. Before we go, let's put that stuff in there. All right, thanks for playing. <laughs> Thanks for playing. I can't believe I missed these. I think I saw those a minute ago and I was just like, yeah, maybe not. Okay, so hold on. Let me find the way down. So I don't think it's that way. Now this is something entirely different. Oh, that's a mine shaft thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. We're not gonna look into that. We need to keep going down. I don't think there's a way past these guys, is there? No. So, 
I'm thinking the actual way down must be in some of this broken stuff. This one's really messed up, but... Oh, it's right here. <laughs> well, duh. Now we're starting to get into even worse stuff. Slowness. As far as damage is concerned, though, they're not doing a ridiculous amount, but I'm, I might also just have a lot of health. I might just have a lot of health. I don't know what half of these things do. I don't know why I'm taking all the iron. I do have plenty of iron. Here are the witches. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, gosh. No. Well, this is not looking good. I need to get this out of here now. Thankfully, the potion thing is not too bad. I don't know how I'm regenerating health like this, but you know what? Things are working in my favor-ish. We need to make sure we eat plenty of food. Looks like that way's sealed off. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh god, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. How am I on fire? Oh, that guy's tough. Heal. We're getting low on, on energy here. Okay. Well, that could have went a little bit better. I think what we're going to do... I did get a nice little plated cuirass. Cuirass, cuirass, whatever. And some rune slots, too, which is even better. So this is... Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. I want to come in here. We want to kill these guys so we can find all the goodies. And I might... Oh, my, my health is already regen. I was going to say... The next place is going to be even rougher. So we're getting close. A lot of you all might have actually played through some of these before. But in case you haven't, I am going to preemptively take those. I like those. A stack of ender pearls. And that's the way down, by the way. Where the heck? Well, that is... Not an amazing looking chest. Where'd you come from? Here? Don't mind me. Uh, how's my bravery? Ooh. I hear puppies. <laughs> I'm hoping those are not going to be too difficult. Alright, let's reapply our buff real quick. Give it a nice little one, two. Wait a second. What the heck is that noise? Oh, please don't tell me. Please don't tell me that there's... I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be very upset if there's Lycanite mobs down here. <laughs> I think there might be. But here we are. The final level. Okay, that way it looks like it goes... No, there's a... Oof. This is really messed up. Oh, this world gen kind of messed this place up. Hopefully the good stuff is still down here somewhere. Um, Let's go this way. Now, this place down here, we have to be very careful because there should be even more spawners in the walls. Not to mention, these are going to be even rougher than before. Okay, no, maybe not that rough. Okay, that, that's not nice. Ooh, what is that? Efficiency and unbreaking. Some of this I'm going to end up clicking back in there. <gasps> what the heck was that noise? Dude, we found a mending book. That is so good. That is so good. What the heck is that noise? I don't... I don't think I want to know what that... I don't like that sound. 
I don't like that sound at all. Okay. You know, it's just free nether bricks. I'll take it. You might have a good use out of it. Okay, so this room's got some spawners in it. It's going to be kind of crazy. That's an Enderman spawner, but that's okay. I think this room had some spawners in it. We need to be careful. Just go ahead and preemptively break those. Let's try not to be like that guy. Let's not be like Fred. Let's not fall into the, uh, you know, the lava. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry up and find the, the good place. Now, getting home is going to take me a little while, sadly. So I think I'm just going to have to go. Hunger. Yep, I don't want to know what that is. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's only got 1,300 health. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I definitely need a better weapon. And these guys are excessively loud. Level 23, 13 to 19 damage. Well, that's not even much better than what I have going on right now. I think I'm going to have to turn them down. These guys are laughing. So I can definitely kill these things. And I can't remember what mod these guys are from, but I think they do drop something that's kind of useful. But there is two of them in there. I'm not too worried now that I've got him a little bit lower health, but he does some damage. He's actually hitting pretty hard. This stuff, Pandora's Creatures, for the Arachnon Hammer. It will break blocks in a 3x3 three three radius, but we need five of them. Oh, yeah, don't stand on that. Yeah, there's one of those spawners in there. Let's heal. I wonder if I can get lucky and maybe get a few of those. Because I think I might have the other stuff to make that hammer. It seems like there might be a spawner in here. I'm trying to see if it'll hit, hit the other dude. Is that an erect hunger? Yeah, there's that one. I think I might leave that one for a second. Those guys are pretty hard. Oh god. Popping my my defensive cooldown. That is a lot of dudes. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh I'm gonna delete some items real quick. Some of this stuff I just maybe better just to get rid of. But yeah, two of those arachnon crystals, not bad. Come on over. We gotta play this a little little smart like. Because some of these guys are hitting pretty hard. Kind of feel like I wanna go in there, but at the same time I'm a little worried. So I guess I found out what that Rotten Eskimo. Let's not. Let's just no. Yeah, no, no, thank you. I'm okay though. Thank you. Have a nice day. So I might have to farm a few of those before we go, but I want to find. The oh God! I want to find the good room. <laughs> I wanted to find the good room. I don't see the. Oh God! This thing looks rough. Yeah, that thing hits very hard. Ow. Lots of ow. All right, let me let me kind of poke around in here. It might be off this way, actually. I just noticed. Nope, just a big empty cavern off that way. There is a chest here, though. Ooh, a diamond. Pickaxe with fortune on it. Raw fish. 
some gold. Yeah, we need to farm a few more of these arachnon crystals. I don't know if we're going to be able to find, but on the plus side, we did come out of this with a bunch of loot. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. This has been in a really good little ordeal to run through, but I am not seeing the good room. Now, normally there's like this room and has like four chests in it and there's a ton of like goodies in there. There's like a bunch of diamonds and emeralds and all that good stuff, but it might not have spawned. The only place I think it could have been was down towards those Eskimos, maybe. We gotta be careful of those. So the problem is, is down here. See, normally I would think it's like right there. Oh, this is not looking good. But the problem with that room is there's a bunch of spawners in the ceiling. And I was hoping to find like a, a better weapon, but that doesn't seem to be the case. And there's just regular zombies. I'm trying not to get pushed back too far here. Oop. Energy's low. But yeah, I think it would have been there. Let me look real quick. Not seeing anything over that way. Oh god, come on, break it. Break it. You're not breaking it! Oh gosh. Ow. Ow. Defense, cool buff. <laughs> Please don't see me. You know, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's here. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to have to do it for today. We got a lot of awesome loot. We're going to have to go through. I'm going to have to look at this and see. Um, but I'll just kind of quickly, for the sake of the video, is just kind of slowly run over some of this stuff just to show everyone what we did basically get here. <laughs> So you can kind of see and I'm going to personally look over some of this myself afterwards and see if there's anything here that might be beneficial and useful to us. And you'll notice that we're almost level 21. So we almost got a full level out of clearing this, but we did get some pretty fun and interesting things. I'm going to wrap up here because I need to not make sure this episode is super insanely long. But I am going to try to see if we can get a few more of those arachnoid dudes. Hopefully before I die. Hopefully we don't die. But anyways, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Uh, if you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And I will see you all back in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.